Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, dear friends. Chris here. I hope you're all well. I hope you're doing good. Um, so I have an unboxing for you today. But before I get that, I first would like to welcome anybody new to the channel. Thank you for joining me. Um, and I hope you like it here. And if you do, please do all those YouTubey things. Like, like, subscribe, share, comment, etc. Um, it'll be very much appreciated. And to all my returning dear friends and true blues out there, thank you so much for your continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means everything to me. So, I have um, an unboxing of Dreamer Designs. So, <laughs> first off, you see two here, but we're only going to do one today. Let's do this one next time. So, okay, so I kind of... <laughs> did a thing where I kind of went on a little shopping spree. I shouldn't do that because, you know, I don't have the money and all that kind of stuff. Um, but, 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 uh, uh, by the way, it's, um, at the end of the middle, near to the end of February. Um, uh, this is when I'm recording this. So you'll see this in March sometime. Um, and just to be on the lookout, near the end of March, you'll see this first. I will be doing a stash video. Um, it'll be really, really long. <laughs> and I'm going to show everything. So just keep an eye, look out on that. Just a little <laughs> a side note. But um, back to this. So <laughs> here's the thing with the Dreamer Designs. Now, I have... Um, they have this new artist, which I really love, and from the first one she put, they put out of hers. Um, but you know, I'm not really buying, and so they put out more and more, and I'm like, oh my god! And then, of course, my dear friend Maritza had to go and get her a few of them um, after I was telling her about them, and then she's seen them, and oh yes, and so I'm like, oh my goodness. She has all these great kits and I want them and <laughs> I was having serious FOMO. But the good thing was, thanks to um, gift cards and coupon codes and all that, I was kind of able to justify my buying. <laughs> so um, with this one, I will say, and I actually, by the way, so I, I have two this time and I placed an order maybe a few days, less than a week later on another order of two. So you're gonna see four of these coming up. This is the first one. Um, and uh, like I said, I was able to use a discount code. Um, th for this one, it was like 15% off each item. Plus I was very generously given a gift card from my other dearest dear friend Miranda who I truly love and appreciate um it was a gift from her so I was able to use the gift card from her thank you Miranda I love you Mwah! thank you so much um as well as the discount code um and I was so I was able to kind of justify it was basically turned into like a buy one get one free um and I didn't have to pay shipping I just it was a little bit over so that was good um and the other one, I'll tell tell you about the other one in next time, okay? So, okay, I know you're saying, ah, oh, talking, talking, talking. Um, so this is Dreamer Designs Kits. I, before I open it, um, you know, they have this nice box here, here. I know it's upside down. Um, holographics. Um, this one is a square. I have three of the four are squares, guys. Oh, my God. I, you know, I keep saying no more squares, no more squares. What do I do? I have to build my squares up now because I, you know, if it's a square and I absolutely adore the artwork, I'm going to have to do it <laughs> as long as the square is from Reputable Company. And I have honestly, personally, have never had an issue with Dreamer Design squares. They've always been great for me, so I don't mind that. Um, so, you know, the typical box and all that stuff, you know. By the way, both boxes are like, you could tell, they're like really stuffed in here. <laughs> And it's heavy. Let's put that away. Don't want to get stabbed with the murder tweezers. Ooh. Okay. Um, by the way, on the end of the box over here, um, this side, it, there is a sticker of what the canvas actually is. So that's nice. Get rid of these tabby things. Okay, so it 
comes in this big old bag. German Designs. So that's like a nice little touch. Unnecessary, but nice. Okay. So let's put this aside too. So let's look at our toolkit. Again, we have the fantastic... Don't knock down. <laughs> I have to be very careful because of this... Uh, I have this fabulous new, uh, he's not much, he's a like a much more mechanical stiffy, um, but he's kind of on a balance. It's a floor stiffy. <laughs> so he needed a weights to hold up the way I'm putting the camera right now. So I'm, I'm very worried that he's gonna topple over. <laughs> Anyways, so they give you the, of course, the, ooh, this beautiful bag that everybody loves, the plush bag. Put that there. And so we have baggies. They give you two pens, one with the regular tip and one with this plastic tip. The plastic tip's usually better, this one, this white one. It's usually better for ABs, a lot of people say. Um, we have a couple multi-placers. We have this clear one and this opaque one. Both of them are the fatter ones that, well, um, don't love them. So I don't use those. Look at purple wax. So two caddies of purple wax, dark purple. That's nice. I like that. Oh, we have a little our little brush. My my bristles are a little bent though, but that's all right. It still works. Um, and you know, it's you could use it to take this out, which is actually good if you have uh, caught drills or you have a little schmutz in there or something. Uh, we have our murder tweezers. Very sharp. Be safe. Uh, for the pen, we have the two hand grips. We have a straightener. And here is our um, tray. Nice purple clear tray. Uh, does this open? Yes. So, does it? Oh, yeah. It's in there. It was in there really good. So, the, the opening part in there and these are dividers so you just put them in here like this should you want to use multiple colors in your tray which is a pretty cool idea okay so there we have it for that so here's our canvas it comes with a purple ribbon very nice touch there a beautiful soft canvas love it so this I believe is a big one <laughs> as you can see Two packages of drills. No peekies, please. Um, they give you this, you know, typical kind of booklet with instructions and tips. Um, here are our drills. And I'll show you what we have now. So there are 69 colors in here. This is a 60 by 90 centimeter or a 23.6 by 35.4 inch square. And it is Ace of Alice by Romy Lerda. Here we go. So this is um, very nice because now they give you cutout. Everything's a sticker here. So this is a sticker. This up here, Dream Designs. They have extra fun stickers down here. And all of your symbols over here are stickers as well. So this is the kit that I got, Ace of Alice. And um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ABs in here. So before I open or turn this uh, the other way, I actually wanna just take out the ABs. So the good thing about Dreamer Designs, which is much easier, um, then someone like Diamond Art Club is, they do it in the number order. So sorry. all the ABs will be in the end and easy to get. Oh, I'm going to have to use, I don't have my scissor here, so I'm going to have to use this thing to cut it. very sharp so I don't have to I'm very careful but I don't have to worry about uh, that 
there. Okay. Okay, you can just go over there for now. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm super excited, guys. So this, again, this is a Romy Lerda. She's a new new artist to Dreamer Designs. Um, now, I have warmed up to the big head, big eye girls. Um, it just depends on the art and the artist, really. Um, like, I, uh, like some Jasmine Beckett Griffiths, I like most of them. I'm just not a fan of because of the sad eyes. I'm not a big, I don't really like Sheena Pike stuff. Her animals are great, but not the girls. Um, Hannah Lynn, I like most of her stuff. But again, it gets a little bit of samey. Now, the same thing with Romy Lerda. Her, I really think her, as when you see it, her girl character, um, she's really pretty and I like her face. Um, the only thing I have to say is about her is that she basically has the same face. Like, she doesn't kind of change up the look. So it's kind of like you're gonna be having the same look on every single character, which I kind of wish that would be a little different. That's my only criticism. Um, so, but I have warmed up to them. Again, I'm not against all of them. And usually, you know, uh, there were other reasons why I didn't like them. Anyways, so uh, I always like to mention that in case everybody, anybody's like, mm, I thought you didn't like that. I like some of them. So here are our ABs. So we have starting out with 62, well, doesn't matter. We have a little bit of this pretty, very pretty baby pink AB. Um, and in my opinion, the ABs tend to look a lot better on squares. Then we have the, this pretty yellow. Then we have two bags of the white AB, which continues here. Now we have some green AB. Uh, this is more of a like a carnation, like a mid pink AB, a big bag of this red AB. Have some pretty, like a jean color, maybe, uh, blue AB, and another, like, regular kind of grass green AB. So, an okay amount. We have, again, some of them a little bit, some a lot more. So, with all that said, 12 minutes in, oh my god, I've done it again. Blah, 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 right? <laughs> Are you ready to see here? Because I'm not going to show you the other drills. I just, the ABs are the only ones that are important, guys. So let's look at her. Voila. Wow. Um, let me just check this. Uh, that's probably better. I'm hoping it comes up. It's not too dark, but the light I had on was a bit of a glare. And I'm looking at it. It's dark in here, but I think you're going to see the, hopefully it looks lighter in the camera. Anyways, anyways, anyways. So here she is. So we have Alice, of course, in Wonderland. You have tons of these mushroom told stools here. Um, we have the Cheshire Cat Eye right here on this side. And on this side, we have the White Rabbit. Here she's wearing, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. We have, she's wearing the Mad Hatter's hat. We have the the, the um, White Rabbit's watch over here. Of course, the Ace of Alice, because in the, you know, the story with the cards. And, of course, you had to have the A for Alice with the heart. Okay. Um, we have pretty flowers here. Um, and, yeah, that's basically it. And her character, of course, is in the middle. She's in her blue dress with her teacup, uh, some striped leggings. Really, really great. So I'm just going to move this this way so I can take a better look at it um, and inform you of what's going on here. So what I love about this, guys, there is not confetti in here. So obviously in some certain areas, I wouldn't even, call, honestly, I wouldn't even call it confetti. It's color block. There is just color blocking. We have down here color block, color block, color block. We have little bits over here, which are probably going to be that white AB. Oops, you can't see what I'm joking at. In this white area, those probably are going to be white ABs. It's probably going to outline this. Oh, uh, let me look. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to really pop, make a pop. In here, there's two different colors. These dark maroons. Uh, again, 
so there is color changes, but there's not like 500 different colors in like a square in uh, a space this big. You know, if you were to do a space this, you know, even if you're going to do the space this big, there's like probably 10 or 15 colors in here and you're going to multi-place it. You can multi-place like crazy on this. There is no real confetti areas. There's lots of line blocking. Again, what do I love? Line blocking. That is my favorite type of dime painting is line blocking. There is no confetti here. And to prove it to you, I'm going to show you up close. Just a uh, okay. So, let's start up on top, right? Um, if I didn't say it, I don't remember. They, they, we, they have changed their canvas to this beautiful soft backing. Um, I finally was, I'm so happy actually. Listen, I, I don't, I don't know if I, I probably don't sound as enthusiastic as I really am. I, I'm just, I, I guess I gotta control myself a little bit for the camera, but I am so happy to get these. Uh, again, I love her work. And honestly, to get an Alice one, like a, um, a premium kit, kit from premium company of an Alice that I really like is really exciting to me because there are so many Alice dime paintings out there that are just like, eh, they're okay, but not my thing. This is the first premium kit I have of Alice, I believe, and I just love it. So here we go. Let's look at the drill field. So in the past, the drill field was an issue. Honestly, I've worked on some lately. That is not the case anymore. I, any reservations I've had about Dream Designs um, on the drill field have been solved, I believe. Um, they're, none of their symbols, to me, are cloudy or fuzzy, which was really an issue. And what made it worse is if you used a light pad in the past, um, it made it kind of worse. Um, but now I really have no issue with the drill field. I will say the renders sometimes are not great, uh, but it depends on the time painting. Again, always check with any painting you buy from anywhere. If you can check a render of it, check to see what it looks like. Um, and Dreamer Designs, again, a premium company, they'll always show you a rendering of what it should look like. Um, and you could see the details of it. And so a lot of their landscapes, to me, don't look great. Some of them do, like the Alan Gianna. A couple of them look fabulous. But a lot of other ones, to me, are like, eh, no. Um, so just, it depends on what you like. And it depends on your opinion, quite honestly. You might love what I hate. So <laughs> so here's the drill field. I hope you guys are getting um, a fairly good look at it. I'm sorry about the glare. Uh, but I hope you're seeing the design. And again... You could see the Cheshire Cat and the White Rabbit and Alice right there. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I don't have any water, of course. So I'm coughing myself to death. <laughs> um, but here, yes. Oh, just fabulous. And it doesn't, honestly, it, it's a 60 by 90, which is true to size. I don't have the measuring tape, but they don't lie about their sizing. Um, it's always correct. Um, this doesn't even look as big as that, you know. It, it, this looks so manageable. Oh, I just, it's just fabulous. What do you guys think? And I'm really happy to show you a lot of these Dreamer Designs too, because honestly, not a lot of people unbox Dreamer Designs. Uh, a lot of creators, I don't know. Either they just don't like, uh, just, you know, maybe a lot of creators don't. Oh, there's only a handful of us that kind of ever get Dreamer Designs. Um, but I don't know. I'm really happy with this. I think this looks fabulous. Okay, well, and again, we have our drills. There's two packages here. Um, with that said, I don't know what else to tell you. I just absolutely love it. Love, love, love it. Um, check out them. Check out their shop. See, see if there's anything you like. Um, tell me how you, what do you think about what? Now, oh, before I go, I just want to say, so Romy Lerda, when I was telling you about her style of with the girls, this is her general style with... Um, you know, the eye and the nose and everything. Uh, usually, and because she's Alice, she has the blonde hair. So it does look different with the blonde hair and the top hat than um, kind of a lot of the other art, which kind of has more of a samey look. So she does stand out a little bit <laughs> because she has the 
the blonde and the, you know, top hat and all that. Um, I will say looking at this, um, not that I'm worried necessarily, but her face does look pinkish. Um, I don't know what color that is. It's 819. I don't know what, I'm not good with the DMC kind of colors. Um, that's not necessarily a problem or an issue. It's just, uh, you know, it could be some people might not like that. I won't know until I do it, um, but it is what it is. I'm not going to change that. Um, that's the only thing. There's a lot of, like, the color of the ads we used to have on the canvas is these, like, pinks over here. But I don't care about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, so before I go, I had to tell you where the ABs are. Wow, I was about to just do a Maritza and peace out without telling you where the ABs are. <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> Sorry, Em. Uh, so let's look at him. So 62, which is this pretty pink AB. Uh, 62, that is the letter A. Where are the A's? So we have a few A's in here in the rows. Um, right in the middle, you know, a couple, just a couple, you know, like maybe 10 of them in here. Uh, same in this rows. And this teacup up here. And I'm guessing that's probably it because that bag's a small bag and there's not really too much of that color on the canvas. There are other pinks I could see here, pinkish whites kind of looking, but they're not, it's not it. So that's probably where those ABs go. Then let's go to this one. This is 63, the yellow AB, and that is Y. Okay, up again, we're up in here. Y's over here. Some Y's here, Y's here. Again, just scattered. Uh, a few over here into like the, the brass of the, the clock. Just a little bit, you know, just like a highlight basically over here too. Um, and some highlights throughout her hair as the Y's. More, the, this is where most of the Y's are, the yellows. I keep saying the Y's, I, I, <laughs> those yellows strips in her hair. Um, and then 64 is the white. So we remember we have two bags of this white and that's the O. So whites outlining all of these toadstools, uh, whites in here, which by the way, you could also use, um, replace them for rhinestones or you can use quad cubes, um, for that as well. Um, the, not all of this is white because there's, uh, that I will say this, it doesn't bother me, but it could bother you. There is an O and there's a Q symbol, and they're similar. So the Q is 762, if you know what that DMC is, I don't know. But it is a similar thing. It looks kind of like a grayish. Um, maybe like if I could see more. If I could yeah, it looks a little bit of a grayish and then a white. So, so they're kind of next to each other in here. So... And there's whites, again, dotted up here. Whites outlining the heart and the A. White ABs, of course. White outlining the heart over here. Whites going all through here. Again, in the toadstools down there. She has some whites in her leggings. Uh, whites in her collar of her dress up here. Whites in the Cheshire Cat's smile. And in the... White rabbit as well. Uh, white throughout the brim of her, the hat. Um, and that's kind of it with the white ABs. That's that. This green AB, which is 69. And that is an arrow pointing sideways down. There's, again, green in these leaves. Uh, there's not many of them, so they're going to be in the leaves here highlighting and the leaves here. You know, anywhere you see the green up there. That's the only place that there's green, it looks like. Um, and this beautiful blue, which is the arrow in a U. <laughs> Let's 
speed. Usually I'm pretty good at finding them, but I haven't found them. Okay, I see them in her dress. I see them in her dress. There could possibly be more, but honestly, I don't see them. I only see them in her dress over there. There are other places where there are blue, but it doesn't look like there are any of the ABs. Just in her dress. Um, then we have, let's do the red last. We have this other pink color. That's 66 which is a B. Again, in the flowers. So the flower, the roses up here get a lot of them. In the teacup. Um, and that's basically it. Again, not a lot of areas where the pink is. This other green, 65, which is the swirl. Again, and the green leaves. That's the only place that are green. And finally, the big bag of red, which is like the sideways staple. That's all this in the toadstool. A little bit in shading in this. Whoops, you can't see. So that's all of this in this toadstool. Lots of area over here. A couple shading, a little shade of it in here. A big part of it in this toadstool. A lot, large area here. Um, in the, the, the sash of the hat. And the heart up here, and the heart over here, the A, and the and in the flowers as well. So there we have it. That's where all the ABs go. This is Ace of Alice by Romy Lerda from Deer Designs. Tell me what you all think. I think it's fabulous. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Part two is coming up very soon. I can't wait to get that. Oh my god, the anticipation for that one. Oh, I can't tell you. And actually, there are two more than are on their way to me. So you'll be seeing three more Romy Lerdas coming up. Uh, I hope you enjoy this unboxing. Uh, I thank you so much for joining me today. Please um, be safe. Be, be, please be happy. Be, oh, I'm missing this completely up. See, I, got, I let my excitement come out, and now I'm all over the place. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me all the comments. Let me know what you think. Do you think you'll get a Romy Lerda? Um, and please, everybody, be safe, be happy, stay safe, stay happy. And until next time, bye, guys.